Hey guys, this is MJ Dickens. Welcome to more Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, and this is against Charizard 3. As for Interfeed battle, he said yes, so, <clears throat> yeah. I live with, uh, this is, um, two battles. The first one is, um, sorry. The first one is, uh, Interfeed. Second one's Interfeed, too, so, um, yeah. I live with my Haunter. He led with his Yanma, and, um, it lives with the folk sash, I guess, so it I air slash I mean he air slashes me, so I die, so um sadly, so yeah. And I send out happy and uh he toxics me and then I just flamethrower. So that was actually a very nice Yanma. Um I think Yanma's N U but um cause like I see sometimes people saying using Yanma over Yan Mega for some reason, so um, probably for a UU battle, so, whatever. So, I T-wave the shell gone, cause, you know, it might be scarfed. Sorry for the music in the background. So, out comes Lorenzo. Five stars, if you know who that is. And he gets bare hacks, so that was kind of gay, cause he could've dragon clawed or D-danced, but, um, D-danced wouldn't really do anything, so he could've dragon claw and did some damage. So, I dragon pulse and die. Uh, it dies. And now he's gonna belly. Oh, uh, I mean, he's gonna hypnosis. Um, sorry, I'm getting confused with, um, it. So, um, now he gets his Salic Berry boost. I think it was faster, though. So, up comes Happy. And he hypnosis that happy. And, um, I guess, um, his main thing is to try and get, um, Belly drum salic berry, so I just psychic it and it dies. So this used to be like a tricking on um, tick but it was like failing, so um, yeah, whatever. So I come to Murkrow, I'm like, what do I have against a Murkrow? I mean, T waves, like the only thing I could do, so I do that, and I sh and that was actually good, so I die of poison, and yeah. So now comes Lorenzo, and I'm gonna Ice Beam, and of course it's gonna die. I mean, come on, it's always gonna die. So, um, yeah, Mercro dies, and out comes Nidorina, and I think, yeah, I go for Ice Beam, and I get a crit. Um, he said that was dumb, because I guess it could have killed me. And then out comes Tangela, and I think I crit this again, or something like that. I don't know, but I don't think the crit mattered. So, um, yeah. If I did get a crit, so, um. Yeah, so that's the end of that battle, and here comes the next battle. Yeah. Um, this is the second battle. So out comes Haunter, and how he, uh, he sends out Yanma. Uh, he switched one of his Pokemon. Um, his Tangela with his another Pokemon, so I Thunderbolt and it lives by one HP because of the Fox Sash, and it's, he's gonna air slash me. And I don't know why, but he doesn't air slash. Oh yeah, he does. I'm th for some reason I I'm, I remember that my Gengar, I mean my Haunter, live like two turns. So basically, it's just the same battle, like going over and over, you know, and um. Yeah, so, out comes the whatever, I think, yeah, out comes the, um, Polyworld. Sorry. Okay, sorry. So, out comes the Polyworld, he parahacks me, and I psychic him, and, um, yeah. Sorry if, like, the, I'm, like, really having problems with this. So, he gets his Alec Berry up, which doesn't really matter. He body slams me. I, I think I live. No, I die. I, I thought I'd live by like 3 HP. Something like that. So, out comes Lorenzo. I just kill it with a deep pul pulse. And, um, yeah. I really, really haven't narrated this video much. I'm, I might, maybe because I'm, because I went to check to see if this was like, same battle. Because, you know, it looked, because I thought I, um, Hunter won. But, um, yeah. So, out comes my Meta. Matang. So he's gonna flatter me. I'm gonna get confused, but I still get my iron defense up. But now I remember. Wait, he's a special attacker? 
Oh my, so he uses Psych Up. Basically, what it, that is a very smart one, but um, yeah. So, I use my Stealth Rocks. Rocks. And he keeps on flattering me. And I snap out of confusion. EQ, and EQ is going to do a ton of damage. Not, not, no, not really. I thought it would do a ton, but um. Meteor Mash would probably do better. Wait, no, it's Poison type. So I'm just keep on trying to Earthquake it and kill it. I'm like hoping for a crit. Um, and you know me. It's, sometimes a crit's gonna come, sometimes it won't. So he keeps on flattering me. I'm like, eh, stop flattering me. I keep, I won't. It's like my Matang denies to get hit in confusion and I get the crit, so. Um. He, he needed to be really lucky to beat my Matang. So how comes Murkrow now? I I have... I, oh yeah, he heat waves me. And that does a little... That actually kills, so... Um, yeah. So, down goes my Reggie and now comes Lorenzo, and I'm gonna Ice Beam, but he switches out. Oh, wait, no, I Surf. I should have Ice Beamed. Hmm. I don't know. I think I was predicting a switch to a fire type that I don't think he even had. So I thought I got a crit, but no. And he, he like stole my shell gone now. Okay. But, but Poison Point was like awesome just for balls. And like, you know, I'm serious. He stole my shell gone. So out comes Mirko and um, gets raped by Stealth Rocks. And Dark Pulse comes and I die. I think. Yeah, I die. So all I have is two more Pokemon, and um, that's my um, my Monferno, who I know can take a Dark Pulse unless there's a crit. Actually, it could have took one with the crit. And then I Thunder Punch it for the crit and die, but the crit didn't matter. So out comes his Grovile, and I should have stayed in. Actually, wait now. So out comes Shane, son of son of Fred. Fred, who's son of um, Steve, Steve, son of David, so, yeah, whatever. Uh, so, like, he kills my uh, shell gun. so, like, here it comes, Dragon Claw, 8 HP, but I wanted the secure KO, so I go for the Flare Blitz. I probably could have killed it with the close combat, but I wanted the secure KO. That is, um... The end of the battle, a tie, good game, Charizard 3, subscribe to him, yeah.